congrats. That was a cold meal of the day. I felt really good. Um, I had a rough night sleeping the first night, and then last night I passed out. So weigh-ins came early. Um, felt good after weigh-ins. I didn't really eat because I didn't want to do that to my team. I was like, I didn't want to eat in front of them. So I waited until after, uh, then ate, and I mean, I felt good. I came in feeling great. Warm-up was great. Um, my partner was great. So it was, a, it was a great day. Everything went to plan. I like I like to I like to be aggressive. Um, I like to go big. That's what I do. So it was go big, be aggressive, and let it fly. That's all it was. Uh, so I just gotta. That's how I gotta go and approach everything. How I'm gonna approach Fargo. How I'm gonna approach Worlds. I'm gonna go in, be aggressive, and just let it fly and see what happens. Yeah, so I can learn something from every match, and these were uh, these were a bunch of different body styles I haven't wrestled in a while. Like the Brazilian was a short, big dude. The Mexican was kind of tall and big. So it was. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about like positions I need to work on. Um, you know, top bottom. I'm better at it now, but I can still, do, especially defense wise, I can do a lot more. So I just, I learned a lot in these three matches I had today. It means a lot. I mean, it's a it's a big thing for me knowing I have that medal. It's like, okay, some, the work I'm putting in is paying off. But it's also kind of like I add a lot of pressure to myself just to start. And then the world medal is just like I have to I have to win. I have to do this. I have to win every position. I have to, you know, I can't give up a point. Or it's like I'm starting to learn that, like, it's okay to, like, maybe lose a position every now and then. Um, so, I mean, the world medal is big. I love it. Um, but... There's always room for improvement. I'm always trying to. I'm always trying to advance my craft and just become a better wrestler and the best wrestler I can. And I'm looking for that gold this summer. What do you think you need to do to take the next step? Yeah. Um, patience. That was the big thing. That was the big thing. Now that was the big thing last year at Worlds. That was the big thing now too. Is patience and techniques. I was against the Ukrainian last year. I was rushing things. Um, trying to get it over with, saying I'm gonna, oh, I'm on the world semis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can rush this and win the world title. But that's just not what happened. It was patience was the big thing I learned. Um, strategy that was another big thing. Learned that throughout the year. It's just like if someone gets tired fast, make them tired and then go to work. So patience, strategy, and patience are the two biggest things I've learned from Worlds. I think that's what's gonna help me the most this year. Uh, parents, parents are a big one. My coaches, it's uh, Suplex are huge. They've been phenomenal. Uh, partners, um, Jano down in Atlanta. I love my guy Jano. So just all my coaches, it's been great. My support system I have back home, it's been a fabulous thing. So I'm just looking forward to the next thing. And then my coaches at Oregon State. So they've done so much for me in this little time. So all my coaches, parents, family, everyone, I appreciate it, guys. Go Beefs.